Congratulations on the purchase of this Mimorex laser lens cleaning system with sound quality tests and optimization tools. At Memorex, we understand your valuable audio and computer equipment represent an important investment you've made in the quality of your lifestyle. Visit our website at www.memorex.com to see our full line of quality CD and DVD cleaning accessories to prolong the life of your CDs, DVDs, and audio equipment. As you may already know, your digital disc player works by focusing a low-intensity laser beam on the disc itself. In this way, the information encoded on the disc is read by the player and reproduced as the sound you hear. Sometimes, small airborne contaminants such as dust, hair, lint, or smoke residue could get into the player and settle on the lens through which the laser focuses. This can lead to tracking errors, which in turn can cause skipping, breakup, or other distortion when you play a disc. This laser lens cleaning system is quick and efficient, a safe, non-abrasive cleaner for the removal of laser lens contaminants. Used regularly, it will keep your equipment playing trouble-free and help restore the flawless digital reproduction you have come to expect of your equipment. The following tracks on the disc are designed to clean the laser lens, then diagnose, balance, and optimize playback performance for clean, crisp, balanced sound. Digital audio as it was intended to be heard by the artist who recorded it. Note, you can press stop at any time without harm to the player or the disc. The cleaning process is now complete. Please select Track 4 now. Now that the cleaning process has restored the laser to its original pristine condition, we are ready to optimize your system for stereo or Dolby ProLogic surround sound playback. If you do not wish to continue with the audio system setup or the audio diagnostic check, you may press Stop now. Welcome to the audio system setup portion of your laser lens cleaner. The first test will be for channel ID and imaging. This will serve to determine if your speakers are connected to the correct left or right terminals. My voice is coming from the left speaker only. My voice is coming from the left of center. My voice is coming from the center. My voice is coming from the right of center. My voice is coming from the right speaker only. If my voice didn't coincide with your speakers, please check the wiring, then replay this track, track 5. We will now run the polarity test, which determines if the positive and negative wire leads are connected correctly. When they are connected as they should be, the speakers are in phase. If they are out of phase, one speaker pushes while the other pulls, which in turn causes poor sound quality. You will now hear two tones back to back. The first is in phase and the second is out of phase. The second or out of phase tone should sound softer. And again, If the second tone is louder than the first, then your sound system is out of phase. To correct, turn off your sound system and select one speaker only, either one will do, and reverse the positive and negative leads for that speaker. After reconnecting the speaker wire, turn your system back on and return to this track, track 6, to verify your speakers are in phase. We will now conduct the sweep test to help you determine if your speakers are operating correctly and efficiently. The sweep test consists of a test tone of increasing frequency. Your speakers should be able to produce all frequencies equally. If you find that there are sharp deviations in volume or tone during this test, try varying the tone levels or graphic equalizer settings if available. If you cannot produce a smooth sweep, 
you may want to have your speakers professionally evaluated. The next series of tests are specific for Dolby ProLogic systems. If you do not wish to continue, please proceed to track 13 now. This portion of the audio system setup is specifically for those of you using a Dolby ProLogic system. The first test will be for channel ID and imaging. This will serve to determine if your speakers are connected to the correct left and right terminals. My voice is coming from the left speaker only. My voice is coming from the center speaker only. My voice is coming from the right speaker only. If my voice did not coincide with the speaker stated, please check the wiring and then replay this track, track 9. We will now connect the system balance check to establish the proper balance between your speakers. What follows is 15 seconds of pink noise, which will allow you to correctly adjust the balance. Sitting in your usual position, adjust the balance of each speaker until the volume sounds the same from each speaker in your system. Prepare now for the rattle test by turning the volume down slightly lower than your normal listening levels. This test can be potentially damaging at higher listening levels. The rattle test will help you determine how sensitive your listening area is to low frequency vibrations and allow you to move objects accordingly to eliminate unwanted noise. You have now concluded the audio system setup portion. Now we will begin with the system purity test to determine if any unwanted noise is being generated and heard through your speakers. Keep in mind that the source of unwanted noise is often the cables connecting your components. What follows is 10 seconds of pure silence during which you should listen carefully to each of your speakers. Begin now. If you heard static buzzing or any other noise, turn the disc off and listen again. Then turn it back on and return to track 13. If the noise disappeared, it probably originated from the player or any connecting cables. If the noise is still present with the disc player off, turn it back on and return to this track, track 13. Then start turning off all nearby electronic devices until you pinpoint the source of the interference. If replacing the connecting cables doesn't eliminate the noise, you may want to have the component professionally evaluated. Your system is now operating at peak performance. We recommend you use this product at least every 50 hours of play. Please press stop, remove the disc, and place it in its case for future use.